Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's been a while since I've been here. Um, I'm filming this on my brand new phone, so hopefully this works. It's one of those new super duper iPhones that have just come out. Um, we'll see how we go with this. I have made a little golden book for a swap that Melanie Barnes is hosting over on Junk Journal Junkies. And this is the first one I've made and the little book I found in a thrift store in a shopping centre and it cost me 50 cents and it's from 1951 was the first when it was the first time it was published and I thought well I'm going to give this a go because I've been admiring everybody else's little altered golden books and they're so much fun and really they're so easy to make the only thing that i had trouble with or this you know the worst thing you can do is a the worst thing i can do is making the spine because i'm so awkward with it i'm switching the book around and flipping it over and doing all sorts of funny things with it and you're yeah, just lucky that the signatures are all in the right way by the time i'm finished anyway so I thought I'd come and share it with you. I've already put a couple of photos on the chat group. And uh, as I said, I had a lot of fun making it. Uh, this is basically the book finished. I may still add a few things to it because the swap isn't till next February. Doesn't that sound awful, next February? Um, so yeah. I. As I said, it was fun making it and I would like to share it with you. So it's called Two Little Gardeners and this is the front cover and I hope it's not too glary. And I have added some lace to cover the burlap. I had actually frayed the burlap but for some reason it kept coming up. I don't know why so I've secured it with some lace. Uh, the back of it is the same so the burlap sits underneath the lace and it's fairly secure and the spine hmm, this was the fun bit there are 15 buttons on this spine you can never have too many buttons right and they have been sewn onto the spine and the signatures are attached to these um, buttons here if that makes sense you can move the buttons up and down if you like the uh, cotton I used is crochet cotton so it's fairly sturdy which should be I've used it in a lot of my other journals so I haven't had any complaints so far or anybody saying that it's come apart but yeah this is the spine and it's a lot of fun because it's a, a little gardening book i thought the flowers were great these flowers come from spotlight so if anybody's watching from um here in australia they're from spotlight the um at the bottom of the uh, little book is these little buttons here and they are attached to the um the middle of the signatures the strings in the middle of the signatures it has three signatures so I actually followed Gail Agostinelli's tutorial on how to do this so that was easy to follow and it made a lot of sense when I put it together because all the pages are in order because I was always wondering how do the pages stay in order or how does the story stay in order and I did number all my pages like she did because if I didn't do it, I would have been in trouble, I guess. The closure is just a seam binding. So it's just attached with the, um, what do you call those things? Grommets, I guess you would call them. Anyway, my, um, my crocodile didn't work. So I had to do it the old fashioned way with my uh, eyelet setter. Eyelets, that's what they're called. So just untie us like that. And of course, it never goes smoothly. Now I'll try not to knock the camera whilst I'm doing this. So inside we have the front cover and as you can see, 
the burlap is coming up, but I will fix that before it goes out to its new owner. The inside cover I've left. Uh, the first signature, we have a pocket, which is a fabric pocket, and I've backed it onto some um, tea dyed paper. And I've just put two tags in it. Oh, we were to use our stash too, as much of our stash as we could. So that's what I did. And this is just as the story begins on stamped on the back of it. And this tag has this book belongs to. It. So I had all these papers in my stash and I thought, right, great, wonderful. I can start using some stuff. So as I said, this is my um, buddy fabric and I've just stitched that onto the back of a piece of tea dyed paper and I've just added a little, a little embellishment here. So it's a little button and some burlap string and some lace. And I have sewed around the uh, start of the signatures to make pockets. So this has a tuck spot and I had all these little pieces of ephemera too and in here I've just put a little bit of notepaper from a Kiki K and this paper is from my um, Crunch Studio the little notebooks so there's I've put plenty of these little pieces of paper in here and there's just two doilies in there so whoever gets that can use that wherever in the book. Um, the idea, for me, the idea behind this book was to make it so that whoever gets this in the swap can make it their own. That's just some of the paper I had in my stash. Uh, this was from a paper pad from Spotlight. And we start with the first signature. And the little golden books usually have two signatures in them. So I've done the first signature and the third signature has the story and the middle signature is just plain. So I'll just do a quick flip through. I've put some ledger paper. Uh, this is still from when I used to do my book work the old fashioned way. And I've still got so many of these ledger books. So they're handy to use up. As I said, tea dyed paper. I've left these pages plain. And I've actually dried them in the oven for a change. They sound so nice. So this is part of, this is a story. Just some plain parchment paper. And I've just added a little fabric tip in, sewing that across the top. And as you can see, I've marked the pages and I've forgotten to erase that. So I will do that before it goes out. Love it. Some more parchment paper, some more of my paper paper, which you can, whoever gets this can also close this up to make a tuck spot out of it. I've just left it as it is. Uh, this is note paper that I actually, this is the middle of the signature, I've actually put it together with some washi tape and sewn it in. And here are those little buttons that are attached to the end of the string. And so yeah, this is what the middle of each signature looks like. Some more ledger paper, more of my parchment paper, some more tea dyed paper. This is a pocket. So this actually on the other side, I don't know if I can grab it here. Um, yes, has a, this piece is actually attached to this page and then the rest of the page is here. So as Gail explains it, it's like a tippy. And I've also, before I go any further, I've also added the paper clips with the seam binding. So there's seven of those in the, in the journal. And in here I've got a little, um, I guess it's something from Denise's shop anyway, from A Tattered Dream. I guess check um, some more paper that I've just attached with a paper clip. And that all slips in there. Some more of my tea dye paper. Some more of the story. 
and as you can gather it's all about gardening and growing things so here is a page attached to a an extension page small ledger paper in here is a um, in this little baggie is a tag that I've covered with burlap some lace a little crochet piece lace trim and a button and you can write on the back of that and just pops in there these are the little bags I get from Daiso and the Daiso I go to doesn't have them anymore so Yvonne if you're watching this I don't know where I'm going to get these from anymore um, some more of my collection paper collection this is a, these are the little ephemera pieces that I had in my stash and these are just two butterflies and you can tuck this little card in there and it's just plain on the back, you can journal on that. Just tucks in there like that and in here I've got some more note paper from Kiki K and a little envelope just a little empty envelope and some more of this paper from punch studio from the notebooks and these are really pretty papers it's got a little bird on it so we had to have a minimum of eight pockets which i have and this is the end of the first signature and this is just a little collage that I've made with some little tickets tucked in there. This is another one of the Daiso bags and in here's just a um, sort of a bookmark. So you can probably put some paper on that and mark on that or you can use it as a bookmark. Uh, I've stitched all around as you can see. And this is the second signature. This one's the plain one. So this doesn't have any of the story in it. And I've just tucked a little piece of ephemera in there. And in here is a photocopy of this um, fabric that I've got with my bunnies. So you can journal on that. This is a, another project I had finished. some tea dyed paper there's plenty of paper in here to journal um, on some of the paper you can see that there's lines oops sorry I've wobbled the camera there's some lines here and that's from the um, baking process more ledger paper tea dyed paper parchment paper as I said plenty of space for writing more ledger paper uh, this is part of the paper pad that I have. I've just put a butterfly in the corner here and you can tuck something underneath that. Where's that mark that I have? I'll just pull that out so you can see that you can tuck something in there. Uh, this is the middle of the second signature and these are the buttons that I've attached to the strings. And I've done the same with that. I've just stuck them together with washi tape and sewn them into the signature. This is just a little um, piece of ephemera, a little card, it's attached with paper clip and this is also a bit of a tuck spot. Um, that's the back of the, the other side of that paper. And through with ledger paper, some more tea dyed paper, some of it's darker and it's very interesting when you stick it in the oven, the different colours you get. Some more parchment paper, another fabric tip in. This was from a um, Wizard of Oz project that I did. On this one, I have um, fussy cut around a little fabric rabbit and I've stitched around it with a zigzag stitch and I've just glued it in on the page for a bit of um, a bit of interest. The 
as I said, there's plenty of journaling space in this one. This is another tuck spot. So you could, oh, hang on. No, it's not. It's not a tuck spot. Why is that not a tuck spot? Oh, I know why, because I probably glued it down wrong and ended up gluing the whole thing. Uh, it's just a tag from the um, paper collection, and you can write on the back of that. Some more of that um, Punch Studio paper. I hope I'm in frame here. That's the end of the second signature. And I've just added two butterflies up the top, and you can use these as tuck spaces. Um, the third signature has starts again with the rest of the little golden book and this pocket is just a fabric pocket for my funny fabric and I've just stitched around it this is glued in but I've stitched around it and I added a little accent piece here and in here I've just got some more of the note paper and a doily and some more writing paper this one is, let's see, oh, yeah, that's a tuck space. Tuck something in there. And this is a large bingo card that just slides out. This is from Denise's shop. It's had a dream. And this is actually good. I've left this plain so you can actually slide it in amongst your paper. And you've got a flat writing surface. So that just tucks in that pocket there. I'll put it back later. Uh, this is just a piece of scrap, um, scrapbook paper, some more note paper, and we go on with the story again. Uh, this was a 12 by 12 sheet of paper. There is a um, here is the extension of the one of the pages that's on the other side of it and I just cut these up and they just worked out perfectly to have four cards and it's washi tape and you can write on that another fabric tipping This is more of the um, paper collection from the paper pad. And this is also an extension piece from to extend one of these pages. I think it's this one here. Yes, it is that one here. So as you can see, it's attached. I don't know if you can see that. I don't want to pull it up too much, but it's attached to this piece of cardstock. I'll erase that either. It's more of the note paper, and these are the two buttons that are attached to the string. You can take them off if you like, if you don't want them there, you can use them for something else. More blank paper. It's more than the story. One came out really well with the lines. I like the way that one came out. And that's the end of the, the story and there's a little song at the back of it. And this is attached to another part of, of the book page of the book and this is just a little tag that's attached with a paper clip and in the back pocket we have I've made a little collage here so there's some little tickets and a little bird and it says be kind and in the back of this one I have in this pocket I have put Another tag that I made with some burlap and a button and some lace and a card from the collection. And you can journal on the back of that. And this was a spare piece of ledger paper, which I don't know, it was supposed to be sewn in, but somehow it didn't get sewn in. I don't know why. And the 
back of the book has a an extra little baggie and that just tucks in there like that. so that's my little golden book i hope my swap partner likes it and she gets it it seems like such a long way away but i thought if i finish it now it's done and yeah so thank you very much for coming along and having a look and i will hopefully see you in the next one and i will probably be making another one of these because as i said they're so much fun in the meantime happy crafting and i will talk to you soon bye for now